I woke up like this. I woke up like this. Oh, shit. Ow. Yeah. That was a failed intro, but anyways, hey guys, it's Aaron, and by the time you guys saw this title of this video, you guys are probably just like, Aaron, what in the hell did you get yourself into now? But yeah, let me just say, I really don't think it's my fault, at least. I mean, who knows, it could be anyone's fault, but yeah. The way I did end up getting stabbed somehow was like one of the craziest and most random ways to get stabbed. I say random a lot, I'm sorry. But yeah, the way I did end up getting stabbed, that was just so freaking random and crazy that... Yeah, I just, and I actually did remember this like a couple of days ago. I'm like, okay, this will be like the perfect story time ever. So, yeah, let's just get on with the story because I'm pretty excited to tell you guys the story. Okay, so back in elementary school, I can't really remember what grade I was in. I think it was in like second or third grade or whatever. But, yeah, in, in one of my classes, there was this kid and he was freaking crazy and creepy. Like, I found him to be completely crazy and creepy as well as the other kids because the things he did were just so freaking crazy. Like, for example, like, during recess, he'll, like, find these bugs, and he'll start, like, chasing people around the playground with it, and we'll just be like, ah, get that bug away from me. And he's like, no, come back. I want you to say hi to my little cockroach friend. He wants to be your friend, too. And there are also these times where he'll, like, randomly, like, go up to girls, and he'll, like, try to, like, seduce them. Like, not really the way I tried seducing girls back then, because that was freaking crazy. If you haven't seen that story, by the way, you should check it out. It was pretty crazy and weird. But yeah, he would just go up to girls and be like, Hey, I love you. I want to marry you. Go out with me, please. <laughs> and then he, and then the girls would be like, No, after all the things you've done, you pretty much creep me out. And I think you're officially crazy. Like, he was pretty much the crazy kid of the school. And also, what was also crazy about him is that, is that at really random times, he would sing that Barbie Girl song by Aqua. Like, if you've never heard of it, just, like, go to YouTube and search Barbie Girl by Aqua or whatever. Like, he'll, like, randomly, like, go in the playground and go to other kids and just be like, I'm a Barbie girl in the Barbie world. Life in plastic. It's fantastic. You can brush my hair and trust me everywhere. Imagination. Life is your creation. Come on, Barbie. Let's go party. Ah, ah. Ah, uh, yeah, come on, Bobby, let's go party. Ooh, whoa, ooh, whoa. Yeah, he did that a lot, and yeah, it was kind of crazy and weird. I mean, to us at least. I mean, yeah, just a freaking like second grader singing the Barbie Girl song, trying to like ask girls out and freaking chasing us around with bugs. Like, it was kind of weird for, to us. But this one day, I, I think he lost it at this point because. I think he went full-blown crazy, and, of course, knowing my terrible luck, it, of course, happened to me. Ha! I'm so lucky, apparently. So, yeah, one day, like, after lunch and recess and whatever, I think it was, like, Reader's Workshop or whatever, so I'm just reading my book, like, Mind Your Own Business, like, woo, Junie B. Jones, oh, I love Junie B. Jones. Yeah, I was actually a substitute Junie B. Jones back then, I freaking loved it, so every, pretty much every single Reader's Workshop workshop time, I would always grab a Junie B. Jones book, and I would read it, and I always, always chuckle to myself out all the stupid and fresh things she did, so. Yeah, so, as I'm, like, re like reading my book, I hear him go, Psst, Aaron, Aaron. And I'm just kind of, like, putting, I'm kind of, like, putting my book down like that. I'm like, what? And he's just staring at me with this really creepy, psycho -y face, and he's just like, Hi, Aaron. And after that, he grabs a pair of scissors, and he's just like, Like he, he, like, he had two pairs of scissors next to him, and he did that with one of his scissors, and I found it to be completely creepy, and I'm just like, okay. And in my head, I'm like, I think this kid actually lost it for real. And, and after I said that, he's like, do you want to play a game? And I'm just like, um, no, can you please get out, get out and, like, get on my face to get away with me with those scissors before you hurt someone with that? And and yeah, he didn't really listen to me. He's like, okay, good, we're gonna play a game together. And then he, then he pretty much like explained this whole game process with me. And he's just like, okay, so you're gonna grab these two pencils and you're gonna hold them in your hands. And then I'm gonna take these two scissors and I'm gonna put them around the pencil like this. Put to my fingers a pencil, by the way, like this, like that. You guys can know what I'm talking about. So yeah, he was supposed to like hold the scissors around the pencil like this. And and yeah, and after he's like, okay, and after that we're gonna. Go back and forth like this, just like that. I can prevent myself from accidentally stabbing you in the face. <laughs> okay, that actually kind of hurt me that time, but yeah. But yeah, he was full blown crazy. Like, I did not want to accept the challenge, but me being like such a freaking rebel back then, I was like, okay, yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna kick your ass, ha! Huh? I mean, I obviously didn't say that word back then because I would get in trouble if I did, but 
Yeah, so I happily, like, accepted the challenge thing. I was gonna freaking beat him, and I was beating him. Like, I was, like, freaking, like, moving the pencils back and forth as the scissors were, like, kind of, like, going around the pencils like this. I'm like, yes, 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 you cannot, or you cannot stab me in the face now, ha. Huh? I'm the freaking guardian master. You cannot stab me in the face now, ha. Huh? Like, I was freaking, like, being boss, boss right now, because I did play a lot of video games, and I knew, like, a lot of defense tricks. So I'm just like, yeah, 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 do not dare. Don't you dare stab me in the face, but... Sadly, the game kind of took a pretty sad and unexpected turn that kind of escalated quite quickly. And yeah, I'm sure that's where the title comes in, obviously. So as I'm like freaking like, like kind of like moving like my pencils like this, like m like avoid the scissors, stuff like that. This one of the scissors that was like kind of on my pencil like this, pretend this is my pencil again. It the pen the ugh, the scissors kind of like. Pfft, like, it, like, let go of the pencil like that, and I'm like, oh, shit. And then, and all of a sudden, like, because of, of the fact that the crazy kid, like, moved forward like this with all this force, the scissors, like, literally, like, penetrated my arm, like, right through my arm. And it, and this, my scissors kind of, like, went through, like, the, my arm, like, kind of, like, right over here or whatever, because, like, yeah, like, over here or whatever. I can't remember. It was somewhere around there. It wasn't all the way up, of course, because that would have like, been bad. I probably would have lost my whole arm. But yeah, I'm just sitting there like all like... <gasps> like, I'm pretty much in shock at this point. Like, I did not know what the hell was going on. Like, I was in shock. Like, like I'm like, what the hell just happened? Like, did he actually do what I think he just did? And I just like turned to my arm and I see how he's like still holding the scissors and, and the scissors like inside my arm, basically. And I'm just there like... Oh my god. Like, I, like, I didn't feel the pain at first because I was so freaking shocked, but as soon as I saw the blood, like, kind of, like, spewing out of my arm, that's when the pain hit me, and I'm like, ah! Oh my god, call the cops, call the ambulance, do something, I have to go to the hospital, please save me, and as you guys know, by the time I broke my head, I freaking hated it. Or the time I knew I broke my head, if you haven't seen the story time, you either go watch it, but if you knew that by the time, I freaking hated hospitals, and, but yeah, that was the one time I actually didn't want to go to the hospital, because of the fact that I got, that some crazy kid stabbed me in the arm with scissors, and, I mean, seriously, even for, like, a pair of, like, little kid scissors, they were freaking sharp, and they freaking, like, went through my arm, like, kind of somewhat deep in there, and that's what she said, I guess, I don't freaking know, and yeah, it freaking, like, went through, like, around here, or whatever, and it freaking hurt, and I'm freaking crying and screaming, then as the kids, like, turn around, they see me, and they're freaking, like, seeing me, like, crying and screaming, they're seeing blood, like, dri dribble down my arm, they're freaking screaming their heads as well, and they're like, oh my god, teacher, 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 oh my gosh, Aaron, Aaron's bleeding from his arm, there's scissors in his arm, someone stabbed him in the arm, ah! And after that, the psycho kid, like, gets scared of me, and then, like, pulls the scissors out of his arm, and then he tries, like, wiping the blood off the scissors so, so he won't get in trouble. And then he, and then the teacher comes running up to me, and, he's, and then she sees, like, like, my arm, and it's, like, bleeding like crazy, like, this blood, like, all over my arm, and it's, like, kind of, like, like, dribbling down my arm. And the teacher's like, well, Aaron, what happened? What happened? What happened? I'm like, I got stabbed with scissors! <laughs> Like, I was freaking, like, yeah, like breathing, like, every word because it freaking hurts so much. I'm like, <sighs> like, I just wanted this pain to go away. Like, I'm trying to, like, wipe the blood off my arm as well, just like that. My arm will be, like, so freaking red and stuff like that. So, and my teacher has to, like, send me down to the nurse's office. And she's, like, freaking, like, rushing me towards the nurse's office. And and some of the kids are freaking, like, following me as well because they want to see what the hell is going on. They're like, teacher, wait, 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 teacher, wait. I want to come. I want to come. I want to come. I want to see what happened to Aaron. I want to see what happened to Aaron. I want to see if he's going to be okay. I want to see if he's going to lose his arm. Ugh. So, so, yeah, she takes me to the nurse's office. And she is... And, yeah, as soon as she goes in the nurse's off, off, office, I cannot talk today. I'm sorry. But yeah, as soon as she comes to the nurse's office, the nurse just stares at my arm. She's like, oh my god, what the hell happened to your arm? And and I'm just there like, I got stabbed in the arm with a pair of scissors. <laughs> it's like, I'm freaking bawling my eyes out at this point from so much pain. And then the, and then the teacher's like freaking like, like kind of like screaming hysterically. Like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, what are we going to do? Do we need to call the, do we need to call the ambulance? Does he have to go to the hospital? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? But yeah, but yeah, of course, b being the nice nurse that my nurse was, she was a really nice nurse. I've got to her a few times. She was such a nice lady. But yeah, she was she was able to help me calm down. She's like, Aaron, take deep breaths, deep breaths. It's gonna be okay. Just pretend you're gonna like do like a little meditation thing. I think that's what it's called. And I'm still like, <sighs> like I'm kind of still breathing heavily because of because of how painful it is still from the stab wound. And I'm still like. <sighs> Oof, 
but my breathing does eventually like get lighter and I'm slowly starting to calm down and then she's like there you go there you go there you go and I'm like okay okay that's good that's good and then and that might and that's when the nurse like pretty much like get goes to like the bathroom or place where she like keeps all of her band-aids and wipes and stuff like that and she's and she starts to wipe my arm with to like with those little I forgot what it's called those little like white things that like kind of like clean your arm off with the blood to clean up the blood and then after that she threw in like that little like blood thing just for like blood purposes and like avoid HIV or whatever and and after that she gave me like this cute little band-aid it was like a Bob the Builder band-aid I'm like oh it's so cute it's so cute and yeah I covered like my arm like right over here and yeah, I somehow felt better. Like, like seriously, that nurse is, is was like a freaking queen of everything. Like, she freaking helped me feel better, even though I just got stabbed in the arm with a pair of scissors and it freaking hurt. And I was that was like gonna like freaking die and lose my whole damn arm. And I thought we we're gonna he was gonna have to like go to court or whatever and like do this whole like little testimony thing. It ended up being completely okay afterwards. I mean, I didn't tell my parents this, so so by the time my parents see this video, it's like, Aaron, what I in the hell did you not tell us this in the first place? Like, yeah, I like to keep stuff secret, because, yeah. <laughs> I do not like telling people some stuff like this, because then my parents, like, end up freaking out. Like, they freak out real easily. If I even tell them, like, the smallest thing, they're going to end up freaking out, and, like, screaming their heads off, and they're going to like, oh my god, Aaron, I can't believe this happened to you, and they're going to start hugging me like crazy, and they're going to start crying, like... Yeah, it's a pretty crazy. My parents are pretty self-protective a lot. So yeah, I guess you could say that was the end of my pretty crazy story. But at the time, some psycho kid in my class stabbed me in the arm over a stupid game. It was just that wasn't even a game. That was like a that was like a little dangerous thing you do where where you try to like protect yourself from being stabbed. And I clearly felt like that because he stabbed me in the goddamn arm. Like the scar is, really isn't here anymore. But yeah. I guess you could say that's the end of my story time, I guess. Um, by the way, guys, like, before I end this video, I kind of want to say, like, it, like, I know that, like, there's this whole little trend called story time going around YouTube now, but I want to try to create mine, like, li like, a little bit unique as well, like, like, I kind of want to create my own name for story times, like, maybe I could call it, like, my crazy life experiences or whatever, or maybe, like, Aaron's Life or whatever, like, the Aaron's Life show or whatever, I don't know, that was a stupid name, but, yeah, if you have, like, any ideas for my story times, like, leave it down in the comments below, maybe I'll consider them, I don't know. So, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this story time about me getting stabbed with scissors, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!